Okay, our first oak tree. You didn't record that, did you? Okay, good. I can shut it off, right? Uh, yeah. I don't want to look like a complete idiot. Yeah, no. <laughs> Number 919 is breakfast by color. By? 919? Yeah. That's all. 919? Read your list. I spent hours doing these lists. I make a little hyperlink so you actually can go around your computer and just look back. Right to the website. Really? Yeah, the other ones are fine, but that one didn't. You can copy and paste. Yeah, maybe copy and paste. I didn't even do that. I just was like searching all the things. They should. Sorry, I'll get one of the green suits. Okay, 919, quirk is by color. By is two. Two color. Even though it's spelled the American way. Colors, right? So two colors. Look at the tree. Wow. Two colors. Look at the park. A little hard to tell today. Wet. You can't hear when you turn that way. <laughs> Try again. Well, so these people, so we're <coughs> people over here. Okay, well, well, I would like to hear. So you we just, just have to focus on you. Then. Yeah, you do. You guys, you're not important. Get no. lost. <laughs> Everybody from here over, you can leave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can actually go. Why would you want to go? Because <laughs> I have all the plans. That's it. I researched them last night. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So I'm not looking at it. See? She didn't hear no. either. So, I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, there's going to be 60 pages of reading for next week. I'm not going to show up. Okay, quirk is five color. Two colors. So there are two colors on the leaves at this time of year. Obviously, much more so than most other uh Fall color trees. Look at the red bud behind. So it's, it's predominantly yellow, yeah. right? Whereas this one has got the browns, greens. <laughs> and if you look at the bark, when the bark is not wet, it has two colors. It has plates of white and plates of gray brown. And that's where it gets its name, Quercus bicolor. It's called the swamp white oak. What does that tell you about it? Likes it's wet areas. It likes. It's one of the few oaks that will tolerate moist areas. Most oaks like Dry, dry conditions. Is everything drain here then? Like yeah, this is really good drainage here, but it's really good soil too. So the, the <laughs> tree, tree will tolerate dry conditions, but um, it will is tolerate slightly wet feet native also. To native to here. To this area? Yep, native to southern Ontario. Carolinian zone, hence why it's in the Carolinian garden. So you won't find it much further north. You won't find it much further east. Okay. You'll find it a little further south, down through to the Carolinas. What's the growing rate on it? Growing rates on oaks are very, very slow. This one had a good year this year. It was happy. Year, last year it was quite happy too. All right, so this one's done quite well in the last couple of years. But typically the oaks are slow. They're hard woods. Hard woods have what? Cells. If I gave you, think of a cell as a tube. If I gave you big tubes and little tubes, which ones could you crush easier, do you think? Big, big tubes. Big tubes, yes. Big tubes. So if it's a fast-growing tree, it has big cells, i.e. big tubes, big cellular structure, so it's weak wood, i.e. the silver maple, which we can snap easily. The oaks are generally slow-growing. Now, there are classes within those oaks. Some are slower-growing than others. So this is a uh, kind of a medium to slow-growing tree. 60 to 80 feet, relatively past free. Got some things that are eating the leaves at this time of year. Look at the back side of the leaves, they're kind of a silvery white. And if you feel the leaves, if you feel the leaves, they're glabrous. Glabrous means shiny. I want everybody to write that down. Now I want everybody to scratch out glabrous, because they're not glabrous. You've got to feel the leaves. Feel the leaves. Feel the leaves. I could just do this. I mean, obviously, I'm 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 not needed here because um, um, Shane over there feels I can just do this from a book. I was kidding. And 
Sorry, forget your name. Alyssa? I mean, didn't Larry do this with you? Didn't you come out here and feel the plants? This is how you remember things. And if you pick a leaf, you have your little hand lens. Take your little hand lens. You can use your hand lens on tests, you know. It's permitted. And you look at it and you'll see little hairs along the midrib. And that's kind of important when you become an oak aficionado because that's one of the things you key it out. But you feel this is kind of fuzzy. And it's, it's a bit hard to feel today because it's wet. So if you take that in and dry it, it's quite soft. All right, it's a very leathery, tough leaf. But you feel the back of it. So if you remember, remember that, when you see it on a test, bang. Do you know what the most acute um, trigger for memory is? Touch and smell. Uh, smell. Smell. I don't have any right now. I'm not stepping in. Right. But if you did have smell, next is touch. So touch and smell. It's like when you smell some cologne, and you're like, oh, that's nice. It smells like oak. Oh, thanks for sharing. Okay. Why is it two colors? Like, is it two colors in your round? Or? No, no, it's just the autumn color. Oh, okay. Now, limited use in the landscape, why? You're doing, uh, you're, you were over at Prosperity the other day, over at one of my houses, right? Dinky little house. Would you plant this tree there? No. No, why? It's not color. Well, it's going to be a big tree. It's kind of ungainly. It's going to go 80, 100 feet plus. Right, kind of a kind of a natural looking thing, right? So great for parks or naturalization and such. Big areas where you've got some huge lawn areas, you can put it at the back of a lawn, but not a high value ornamental tree. And we, remember, we talked about added value on plants, right? I showed you how to do the calculation for Acer Grissium. So if you choose this, you could play, plant Acer Grissium at, at Prosperity over here, right? Nine Tree Prosperity small tree that would go well in the back garden might be a little too big for the front this would be massive be, would be out of scale with the building <coughs> okay so <coughs> limited use in that regard not highly highly ornamental right Devin? <coughs> okay any questions no, no?